Um, so <clears throat> I was going to talk just briefly about railings. So I'll go ahead and open up the railings example. All right, let's go ahead and click that guy. So there are some railings in here, um, and they have some stairs along with them. The railings are a bit of a pain. I mean, the stairs are a pain too because they're very difficult. Um, I mean, they're just complex things. So you can get them to work, and you can adjust them. I might even recommend staying away from railings for a little while. But say, for example, um, you just wanted a little handrail that was simple. You could pick this, um, and I'm just going to copy it and then go back to my stair and um, I'll just paste it. So I'll go to modify and paste, paste from clipboard and it'll bring that railing in, right? So um, if I go to my 3D view, right, that railing will be sitting there, okay? And so what that does is it brings that family in here. So that means if I didn't have that family existing before, I now have it. So now I could go to my architecture and railing and place it on the stair. So if I pick that stair, it'll place railings on it. And now this railing is available to me if I go to the pull down for the type selector. And oops, sorry, I got the stair. Let's get the railing. And if I go in, you'll see that, I think it's this one, is it that guy? Yeah, it's that handrail pipe wall. And so it actually has these little wall connectors, right, that come in and adjust it and s connect it to the wall. If you, pick, um, if you pick the handrail pipe, you can go to edit type and um, the rail structure if we go to edit type um, if we go to the rail structure and edit that it has one circular handrail I cancel that and I go to the baluster placement it has a handrail bracket set at the um, every so often and so you could actually come in and get rid of these just set them to none and set them to none and set them to none and then you would just get whoops not default but none and then you would just get basically you know a handrail right that went along um, the edge so I mean that works fairly well if I went to my level one and let's see where did I put that handrail right so handrail is here so I'm gonna pick it in this view where I can see it and then I can come in here and kind of see it in this view. If I edit that path in a plan view, it'll give me a path and I can actually come and put like a, a one foot extension on it if I wanted to do something like that. But I wouldn't worry about these kind of things right now. Um, I would just keep it very simple or even just eliminate the handrails altogether at this point, right? And so now I've got sort of, I tend to go this way in the beginning, just a very simple, um, idea that there's a hand going to be a handrail there um, and not worry about trying to articulate it. My general feeling is that the default Revit handrail, let's just see if they have one of those up here, which is kind of like this one. Oh, those are, I mean, it's just terrible. So let me see if they have the default one in here. Is it that guy? It's kind of like that, but it's actually, I think it's a handrail regular, which is the kind of one that comes up. I mean, it's just terrible, whatever it is. It just looks terrible. So if that's the case and you don't have any other option, I would just delete it, right? Um, so that's Rails. And for the next series, we'll talk about how to implement sort of walls into the hotel stuff.